Are you okay? <laughs> oh my god, that was perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, so today we're in Waveland, Indiana, and we're checking out Shades State Park. If we're meeting you guys for the first time, I'm Mike. I'm Stephanie. We're an RV travel nurse couple, and we've been full-time RVing since 2018. So Shades is actually about 20 minutes from Turkey Run State Park, which is a little more popular. But we've actually never been here before. Mm -hmm. so it's about 20 minutes or so from Turkey Run, so we thought we'd check it out today. But first, we're gonna throw some fun facts your way about Shades State Park. So why did they name it Shades? There's actually folklore legends about that and there's some discrepancy about why, but it was actually originally called the Shades of Death. Apparently there was like the eerie feeling that the um, woods projected and then there's some murder stories. I won't leave, I won't, I won't say here, but I'll leave down below if you really wanna read about yes. them. So even though Shades is technically bigger than Turkey Run State Park, it's about a thousand acres bigger, it kind of has fewer amenities. It does have a campground, 105 non-electric sites, no modern hookups. It does have like a um, shower house with showers and flush toilets, stuff like that, but non-electric sites. And something that's unique about Shades that I didn't even realize, even though we grew up so close to it, it has a backpacking trail. Yeah. So that's actually what we're going to start on here in a few minutes, but a backpacking trail about two and a half miles in, two and a half miles out with seven sites there. And it has a canoe camping trail. We're also going to attempt to do the six ravine challenge today. So that should be entertaining. Ooh. It's only about four, what? Four, four and a half four miles. And a half miles. So, but it also said on the paperwork four and a half miles, but like 500 some stairs. And if you know how I feel about stairs in nature, they don't belong there and you shouldn't have to hike on them. So, Steph has very strong opinions about there being stairs <laughs> on trails. So, so follow along with us guys as we check out Shades State Park. actually quite a bit of water especially since it hasn't rained in what a week or more did you want to go through the water So apparently we missed our turn for trail four. So we have to go back. How far back do you think? Oh, about an inch or two. An inch or two? That didn't sound too bad. <laughs> so <sighs> the thing about the six ravine challenge is that you hit most of the trails, but they just kind of go back and forth and up and down and back and forth. And there's a turn from seven to four that I wasn't paying attention to. I was probably talking, knowing me. And we missed it. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention either. Oh, thanks for taking some of okay. <laughs> <laughs> It was mostly my fault. So we're so going back more. to get on four and go to our next photo op, which is... Frizz's Ravine. Frizz's Ravine. Frizz, Frizzy Ravine. So in order Frizzy. to do... In order to do the six ravine challenge, you have to take pictures at six different spots. So we're going to our next spot. So we just, far we've got two. Yeah, <laughs> just have to backtrack. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> So 
Okay, so we figured out where we went wrong. We're on trail seven and it's supposed to have a little like 90 degree turn onto trail four. But there's no signs or anything. And we did cross this before and I thought it was a service road because it's about six feet wide as opposed to the two foot wide trail we've been on. So we came up a little further and we saw a sign that said trail seven, begin trail seven to trail eight. We found that on the map. And you have to go back towards the parking lot and then there's a sign hidden kind of in the weeds that says trail four this way. So here we go, trail four. On to Frizz's Ravine. What do I believe? What makes me feel it to write you this song? <laughs> Big gap there <laughs> in that top rung. It's not made for people with short legs. No, Alright, so we just came off trail five, like Mike said. We're gonna curve around a hickory shelter, hop onto trail one. Trail one has Prospect Point, which I'm excited about. It looks like it has a pretty good view. Mm -hmm. Inspiration Point and Silver Cascades Falls, which is where we need to take a picture at. After that, we have trail six and one more picture to take at Red Fox Ravine, and then Air conditioning and ice cream. Yes, it's hot today. That's so. my plan at least. Yeah, <laughs> almost there. Yeah. So we found Silver Cascade Falls. Pretty cool. I think the actual falls is behind Mike right now. We'll see if we can get some good pictures of it because it's kind of hard to see because you can't actually go on that side of it because of the trail. Um, but it's cool because most waterfalls you think there's like a ledge and then the waterfall falls off and it's concave underneath. This waterfall is actually convex. It curves out and I just read the little placard and it says it's because frost wedging basically it's not eroding like a normal waterfall would, and so it's it looks like this big curve bowl down into the water. It's pretty cool looking. It also looks like it'd be a fun slide. It would be a fun slide. Also a pretty dangerous slide, which is why there's all these signs that say, hey, don't do that. Red Fox Ravine. That means that we're done, Steph. Yay! We only got lost once. That we know of. That we know of. <laughs> it is pretty confusing though, altogether. Yeah. I thought it was pretty confusing. Yeah, I think it's because the trails are fairly short, but they intersect with each other often. So if you miss the right turn, and we honestly kept coming back to basically where we parked, which is really tempting to hop in that truck <laughs> and turn the AC onto yeah. a little bit. But they all kind of come back in and out of the same area. So yeah, definitely unexpected. We had a good time today. It is really hot and it's just now peaking hot. So I think we're gonna head out of here. Yeah. So as always, thanks for following along with us today, guys. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing to our channel to follow along with our little adventure. We have about 
two weeks left on Steph's contract here in Indiana, and we're still not sure exactly what we're doing after that. But we'll make sure to let you guys know that as well. Thanks for hiking with us today. If you check out Shades, let us know what you think of it, and we'll see you next time. Steph said it this time. <laughs> Look, Mike, we hiked. <laughs> oh, those are pretty nice, actually. He said that most people have trouble finding the signs on the two ravines. He laughed at our pictures, though. Well, look at us go. Ice cream, ice cream time. <laughs> <laughs>